welcome everybody once again. Today we wanted to present the activity of the Cultural Front, uh, Cultural Front Foundation uh, in these difficult times. My name is Irina Sacha. Uh, I'm joined by Natalia um, Kernicka, my friend. I will talk about the activity. Natalia will talk about uh, the research carried out together with um, uh, the Ministry of um, uh, Information of Ukraine. The Ukrainian Cultural Fund is a state of uh, institution created in 2017 in correspondence with the law of Ukraine. And we started uh, working in 2018. Uh, we support um, artists and projects based on contests and uh, grants to pro uh, help artists uh, continue their activity. Uh, we support different sectors of um, art. It's audiovisual, audio arts, um, audiovisual arts, creative arts, performing arts, and cultural heritage. Um, our grants um, help create uh, various projects, uh, including um, graffiti, inclusive um, video content, performative, choreographical exhibitions, and other many other cultural products. Every single year, starting from 2018, we have received over 2,000 uh, grants from uh, different cultural sectors. In total, we received over 10,000 applications. And we managed to uh, support, uh, support over uh, 2,500 uh, grants. In 2022, um, until the war, we received three, over 3,000 grant applications from many corners of uh, all the corners of our country. On February 24th this year, um, the whole uh, situation has changed. So, due to the war, um, the Ministry concluded that um, about 20 million euros were repurposed, redirected, uh, taken away from, from, from the fund and uh, devoted to the Ukrainian army. We need to reorient, refocus our uh, activity and adapt to the new circumstances. We focused in the first place on um, information war with Russian aggression, and secondly, uh, assistance to artists and um, cultural projects in these difficult times. The first um, direction, the information, uh, information war, since the beginning of the year, uh, we received over 3,000 letters to support Ukraine, and to um, suspend um, or f yeah, suspend any uh, cooperation with Russian um, institutions, we turned to such international institutions uh, as um, um, embassies, funds, uh, committees, uh, representatives of Ukrainian di diaspora. Uh, members of international associations, uh, of which uh, our fund is a member of. That includes INFAC, uh, uh, European Network of Culture Centers, Culture Action Europe, and others. Um, because we are the mem the member of uh, a member of uh, such uh, associations, um, we could connect with them with NCC um, we submitted a uh, an application for a um, 
uh, contest to support Ukraine to receive uh, sub-grants to support Ukrainian um, uh, artists and projects. Um, in order to inform you on the key events in um, in Ukraine, we initiated chronicles of the on the cultural front. Uh, in order also to support Ukrainian uh, artists on uh, and inform them on uh, what is happening on the cultural front in in Ukraine. Uh, such information was um, sent uh, twice a week. Right now. Um, we reduced uh, this frequency to once a week only. Uh, we could not, um, I mean, we had to um, focus on helping uh, cultural, uh, on informing cul uh, on the losses on, on of the cultural uh, heritage. So we decided to uh, create a map of cultural uh, losses um, in cooperation with Ukrainian Ministry of Culture. So we included such information on uh, with video recordings and photo recordings on the map, uh, which was um, placed on an interactive map. Um, on the website of the Ukrainian Ministry of Culture to be always informed uh, of the scale of the losses. We're also collecting artistic um, works and created an uh, online art po portal and in order to systemize um, uh, these works and uh, and post their uh, memes, uh, posters and any kind of information uh, that um, users could also share with uh, friends thanks to this uh, portal. In order to support our uh, culture, considering we cannot financially support, uh, be supported by, by the government, we uh, created a um, another portal together with Ministry of uh, Information. Uh, we collected uh, current information there and um, published everything we collected. This platform includes a collection of information from uh, artists about their uh, current needs uh, for, for them in order to continue their work. Uh, applications on this platform uh, can be um, submitted by cultural workers who want to uh, reinstate their um, activity. And thirdly, it includes um, current projects aimed to, uh, to be realized by our artists and cultural institutions. This platform is aimed at collecting this information from Ukrainian artists and, and institutions who are in a very difficult situation and who need help to restore their uh, activity and to restore their um, in wartime and after uh, our victory. This platform allows Ukrainian Cultural Fund to collect uh, these needs which are extremely vital for culture. Our mission is to Uh, find the resources to um, realize the needs um, submitted on that platform. Right now, we uh, we turn to our international uh, partners and donors in order to review these projects and find a project that they like and find to uh, find uh, somehow finance uh, this project.
along with our partners Uh, Ukrainian Culture Foundation, we made the project a Charity Hero to help Ukrainian uh, culture now. Uh, thanks to our efforts, uh, people from all around the world can support Ukrainian culture just with one click on your smartphone, uh, thanks to a link uh, and to donate quickly. All funds collected through this campaign will be directed to um, the Ukrainian uh, Culture Fund, uh, which we will then direct to um, support artists and institutions in the form of stipends. Uh, we were joined by other 12 uh, Ukrainian activists uh, who continue their um, activity in other European countries. This year, we managed to um, um, take funds from, from, from the government in the amount of um, um, 112,000 uh, euros, received 360 applications and awarded 32 grants. Artists um, um, are now reporting uh, on uh, their, their projects because they have received the grants. Um, our parliament um, voted through a uh, budget and this budget, uh, the, the law on the budget on 2023, uh, the scope of financing to our institution um, amounted to close to 4 million euros uh, uh, out of which um, 3.7 uh, million euros will be directed to cultural projects and uh, 125,000 for, for euros of, uh, for scholarships. Uh, we present um, our projects on uh, the forum uh, Creative Ukraine. Um, these funds will be, part of it will be directed to these programs which in 2022 were uh, um, begun, um, that applications were submitted to. A uh, program of um, visual uh, art and another projects. Um, part of the uh, of the financing will direct to other programs. Um, in the first place, uh, these programs will be directed to the uh, reinstitution of uh, artistic um, activity and to support cultural heritage. Another program uh, is will be dealing with uh, regional uh, art uh, to support um, unique ethnic um, projects in, in Ukraine. Uh, this concludes uh, the overview of our activity. Now I, will, I would like to give the floor to my friend, uh, to my colleague uh, Natalia. Thank you. Once again, I would like to greet all of you. We all understand that during the war, uh, cultural and creative industries, they uh, and representatives of uh, these industries left the country because everyone is searching for some opportunities to uh, realize uh, the ambitions and needs and at the same time our creative and cultural sector still supports the armed source forces of Ukraine and supports uh, support volunteers and everyone does its best to bring us closer to victory. And therefore, in, we would like to 
uh, analyze uh, and the, uh, the situation and therefore we made a research and these are the results of this research. First, this research was uh, div uh, divided into three parts. First part, the condition state of the institutions that were not evacuated, uh, that remained in Ukraine. The second part about grant opportunities and the third part is related to those who left the country. And around 1,000 respondents took part in our survey. And, um, is around 60% uh, were uh, men and 80% uh, uh, of people were abroad and uh, uh, left in Ukraine and 20% went abroad. Uh, we ask, uh, has their activity changed? Had the activity of their institution where they worked before changed? And up to 15% of respondents answered that they le are left without any work, any job. Uh, and uh, then the following group who said that uh, they st uh, started uh, being they started being volunteers or uh, they uh, are engaging in uh, some uh, voluntarily uh, works or in the armed forces. Uh, only a part of respondents answered that the nothing has changed and they keep working on their previous job position. Uh, we also asked, have had their business activity or the activity of the enterprise changed uh, comparing to uh, a April uh, 2022, and um, around 30% uh, respondents think that, yes, this activity has increased, and um, a lot of institutions on the deoccupied territories revived their activities. Answering about the impact of a full-scale war on the activities of the enterprise institution where the respondents work, First of all, uh, people s told about uh, a decreasing of a number of orders, remote uh, work, and every fifth respondent said that either they lost uh, the personnel or uh, colleagues left abroad. Another part about opportunities uh, to and capacities of institutions and 40% of people answering uh, what uh, possibilities they used to, uh, it means grants or some financial uh, opportunities, and 40% answered they did not take advantage of any opportunity they had. 25% uh, of respondents used state programs uh, of support for citizens, and uh, it means also uh, 2,000 uh, hryvnias for internally replaced people. The reasons why the company or institution where a respondent worked before didn't uh, take uh, advantage of uh, some business or support opportunities. Uh, first of all, it was mentioned that this uh, institution does not correspond uh, with the, all the requirements because it's not uh, their legal form is not. Um, uh, is not appropriate and therefore they do not fit uh, in this program or something like that. So quite a large number of institutions and respondents uh, told that they were not informed uh, or they were just unaware of some financial opportunities about some grants or uh, some for s of form of support L uh, when they 
answered what priority measures from the state or donors can help creative industries survive during the war and recover from it, and 61% of people mentioned grants. Quite a lot of people uh, mentioned uh, reimbursement, compensations, some programs for supporting uh, regional or cross-sectoral uh, initiatives, programs to increase demand, uh, consultations, trainings, and so on. In the beginning, I mentioned uh, that both uh, Ukrainians who left in Ukraine and Ukrainians who were forced due to this or that reason to be evacuated, and 20% of those surveyed uh, were abroad during this, at the moment of conducting the survey. And um, the majority of respondents who were forced to leave, either they evacuated themselves and uh, part of uh, them just used the support of their relatives or friends. And mostly people left for EU or Schengen countries. Answering the question, are you working abroad? 33% answered that no, I did not work, but I was actively looking for it, some job opportunities. Uh, around 20% answered that they uh, continue working for their previous institutions, and part of respondents uh, work as self-employed people. And a very interesting question, do you plan to come back to Ukraine? It, uh, this survey was uh, conducted in uh, June, and the majority of people answered that they do plan to return. Uh, and 12% tw uh, told that they plan to come back in the nearest future. And uh, uh, around 30% mentioned that they plan to come back after the end of hostilities in Ukraine. But we do understand that it's all very flexible and we have to conduct that survey again because we have to understand we changed because uh, the summer changed a lot and this uh, in these circumstances we are having now, they also change the situation, and therefore we uh, are conducting another survey at the moment to compare the results with the previous survey. The most important one every one of us can do now is to, first of all, share verified, reliable information. We are always open to cooperation, to partnership, to discussing any opportunities that may uh, help support the creative cultural industries. So if you have ideas, programs, we are very glad to discuss it with you, I, either here or by email. We uh, stand strong, we believe in our victory, and we do believe that this forum, Green and Grass uh, 2.0, uh, is going to be conducted in Ukraine. Thanks a lot.